Kathy, The Raft of Autumn Leaves. Kathy Drown, a medical auditor from Minnesota, spent three weeks in a coma following a botched operation in 2016 when the surgeon mistakenly sliced into an artery. She was flatlining, bleeding out, and given the last rites. Nobody expected her to live. Archangel Raphael came to see me every day. He was so cool. He had long braided gray black rasta hair and brilliant blue eyes. He was wearing a surgeon's outfit. He told me he'd been in Jamaica lately and that's why his hair looked as it did. He came and sat with me every day. I didn't ask any questions. He just answered me as if I asked a question. I'm seeing my body on the bed and I'm talking to Raphael, and he's sitting on a chair in my hospital room. But I'm not concerned with my body at all. We're just talking about me going to heaven. He told me stories that I know were true, about life and the world and wars of religion. He built me a nest of autumn leaves on the ocean, like a raft. There was no concept of time. It was like forever. There was no morning, no afternoon. There was no clock. There was just the beauty of light and darkness. There was no sun or moon. They just weren't there. I floated on the ocean with mountains in the background. Sometimes there were major waves, but it was also peaceful and relaxing. On the bed of leaves, I could see the sky, the clouds, mountains, and just total beauty just relaxing on my raft. The leaves were very, very soothing. It was a feeling of complete peace, complete fulfillment. You can't imagine until you've been there. Pure bliss, pure calmness. I love the mountains. The fall leaves are my absolute favorite. I love all four seasons. I love nature. Whenever I'm emotionally traumatized, I go to the mountains to heal. As things got worse for me medically, or so I believe, Raphael was there for me. He kept me at complete peace. He not so much took me places, but he let me see places. But I don't know where they were. They weren't earthly. He said, as long as you're on this bed of leaves and have at least one leaf left, you'll come back to live your life. My leaves were my safety and I floated forever on them until I had only one leaf left. There was no fear. I didn't want more leaves. I was calm. Anxiety, what's that? That's when I experienced standing at the threshold of heaven. I was looking forward, praying. And then my brother and relatives appeared. I knew instinctively that they were my family. I just knew. You don't hear voices like here. I was just aware of what they were saying. The threshold was a small hump that was pearly white, but I could barely put my being on the threshold. I was trying so hard to get in. The gates were open. It wasn't a tunnel, but an open, beautiful, innocent, cloudy background all around me. My brother and relative said, it's not your time yet. You have to go back. They gave me the powerful feeling I had something imperative to do in the future. I think I did just that. It took me a long time to get back to here. When I came out of the coma, everything was sort of blurry, like I was still one foot in and one foot out. 
After this, it's like I'm free to go to heaven any time. Father Whelan from my church told me for sure that he knew I was dead. He said my eyes were wide open. I believe that you were at heaven's door. I've seen death a lot of times, he said. I wish I could have died then. But I know I will be going back. Simon & Schuster Audio present an Inner Traditions audiobook, Coma and Near-Death Experience. The Beautiful, Disturbing, and Dangerous World of the Unconscious by Alan and Beverly Pierce. Read by Danielle Painter.